we're very fortunate to have Lynette Pond from Genetech on Interpol World TV. Uh, Lynette, Genetech have done a lot with smart and safe cities around the world. Can you tell me a little bit about the initiatives that um, you've got going? So yes, uh, Genetech has been engaging a lot of government cities and municipals and this is our biggest uh, verticals. And in fact, in the last two years, we have developed the CityWise initiative where we actually bring along all the municipals and even enterprise de decision makers to come together and share best practices and policies. On top of that, we provide the technology and the platform for them to come together to collaborate, giving them the most cost-effective uh, infrastructure to share information rather than investing on the whole cities of cameras and platform, you know, we actually encourage this collaboration between the private and the public uh, entities. Mm -hmm. Now, with the safe and smart cities, we're getting an awful lot of convergence then between the physical and cyber security world. Should we continue to have them as separate entities or you know, what's your view on convergence? Actually, as, as everybody knows today, physical security is actually deployed on the IT and IP platform. So we cannot actually differentiate cyber security and physical security. In fact, they have very close collaboration, uh, collaboration among these two. And if you look at actually what is happening in many cities, the physical and the cyber security team are converging. The threats are converging and in fact unifying. So a lot of organizations are actually putting the IT guys and the physical security guys together. And you have this role where it's a mix of the CIO and these uh, CSO is a security officer. Mm -hmm. So we need to provide this uh, platform that actually address both physical and cyber security together as one. So in fact, two years back again, you know, Genetech has been working on this uh, cyber security threat, how we address the man in the middle attack. So we have developed uh, features like, for example, advanced uh, authentication in terms of preventing cameras being uh, tap in between or even uh, unauthorized client from tapping into our system. So we have actually used IT grade uh, physical uh, cyber security technology to actually address this part. Now the threats are growing, the technology is growing. Um, where do you see Genetech technology going in the next three to five years? Say? So yeah, actually in fact, not even three to five years. Right now what we are actually focusing on is beside collecting, making sense of all the various sensors that we have today, the IoT stuff, and making uh, actions of it. What we are developing is actually helping the customer to achieve or to address their outcome by using application and intelligence on this application, besides just uh, making sense of the devices. So I think application is the next uh, three to five years uh, trend. You know, we want to make tools or application that's useful to the operators to help them to close or investigate the case and uh, close the case uh, quickly. So this is really the next uh, three to five years uh, strategies that Genetech has mm -hmm. in place. And, and what was it about Interpol World that meant that you felt you had to be here? Oh, in fact, you know, we know in Singapore there's an Interpol World a couple of years back and uh, we definitely recognize this is a very important platform. And we, since we have been so active with a lot of governments and in fact Interpol is also one of our customers and we should be here today to connect to all the Asia law enforcer and also the government uh, sector from Asia. And I want to bring this conversation to them like what we have been doing globally in other region. I think we should engage the customer in Asia today. Mm. So that's the reason why we are in Interpol World this time. Mm. Lynette, thank you very much thank indeed you for so coming much. and talking to us on Interpol World Television. Nice talking to you too.